Hey guys, CJ with Elevated Systems, and today I want to share a journey with a machine that seems complex and downright daunting at first glance. This is the Xtool D1 Pro, a desktop laser engraver and cutter that landed in my workshop just a couple months ago. Until that point, my experience with laser machines was non-existent. However, in less than 24 hours after setting up the D1 Pro, I had already crafted a sleek mini PC enclosure with it, and that was just for starters. In the weeks that's followed, I've created some amazing projects with this tool. So today, I'm here to share my thoughts as a laser noob on the Xtool D1 Pro, and more importantly, to demonstrate how incredibly simple it is to start from scratch and end up making incredible things with a laser. Let's do this. It's the money. All right, let's kick things off from the beginning and just to lay all the cards on the table, I did reach out to Xtool and see if they'd be willing to send over the D1 Pro. I shared the reasons in a previous video, but honestly for a small channel with no laser experience, I wasn't holding my breath, but to my amazement, Xtool delivered not just the D1 Pro, but also threw in the enclosure, honeycomb working panel, and the air assist unit. We're talking a cool 16 to 1700 bucks worth of gear with basically no strings attached. I'll get into the finer details of that arrangement later on, but first things first, the unboxing and assembly, the D1 Pro arrives snug in a cocoon of open cell phone, perfectly safe for transit. Now, while lasers were uncharted territory for me, I've put together my fair share of 3D printers and other workshop gizmos. Xtool knocked it out of the park with their assembly instructions, crystal clear and detailed, the build quality and materials are superb, and every piece of hardware and tool needed was neatly organized in a tidy plastic case. Everything fit like a glove, and I had the whole machine put together in less than an hour. But then came the cables and things got a bit tangled. Despite following the instructions to a T, I couldn't find a way to arrange them without impeding the laser travel or invading the workspace. A cable drag chain system would have been ideal for a pro model, or at least the option to add one. For now, it looks like I'll be rolling up my sleeves for a DIY fix or scouting for a third party solution. Other than that, hardware wise, everything was solid. The enclosure snaps together with Velcro and includes a straightforward ventilation system. The air assist is a breeze to connect. The honeycomb working panel slots right in, but hardware is only half the equation. To bring this laser to life, you need software. And I get it, diving into new software can be the real hurdle, keeping many from jumping into new tech like this. But here's the good news. Xtool simplifies this with their own platform, Xtool Creative Space, or XCS for short. It's the bridge between your ideas and the D1 Pro, making setup and control simple. I followed the straightforward setup instructions and was up and running with XCS in no time. It's a breeze offering both USB and Wi-Fi options to connect to the machine. XCS is also a creative toolbox to build your projects from the ground up, right in the app. There's even a catalog of free projects ready to download so you can hit the ground running with some laser creations. Of course, you can also bring your own designs to the table. That's what I did for my first project with the machine, creating the mini desktop PC enclosure, a project you can check out in full in another video. But in a nutshell, I designed the enclosure in Fusion 360, exported the layouts as AutoCAD DXF files, and simply drag and drop them into XCS. For the wood panels, I picked out a three millimeter black walnut plywood and XCS default settings nailed the cutting and engraving on the first run. The same went for the three millimeter acrylic top. For my sheet metal work, I even skipped the old school messy layout die measuring and marking by hand. Instead, I let the laser etch the cut, bend, and drill lines directly onto the sheet metal, shaving hours off of the fabrication process. But this is probably more of a complicated project than most people are gonna christen a laser cutter with. So I wanna show you how easy it is to create this custom walnut coaster on the D1 Pro using XCS. 
Start by sketching a circle within XCS, sizing it up to a diameter of about 10 centimeters or roughly four inches. Next, let's personalize it by adding some text, choose a font, tweak the letter spacing, and make sure it's perfectly centered, and our coaster design is done. Now let's talk laser settings, which is super straightforward. Inform the software you're using three millimeter black walnut plywood, then instruct it to process the paths by layer and set the starting point based on relative coordinates. Select the circle outline in your design and apply the default cutting parameters tailored for the walnut plywood. For the text, switch the setting to engrave. To keep things organized, move the engraved text to a new layer and place it on top. This step may not be necessary for our coaster, but it's sometimes crucial for more complex endeavors to engrave first, then cut, in case the material twists or flexors after being cut. With the design set, it's showtime for the laser. Place your wood on the work surface and secure it with the provided magnets or some tape. Then loosen the laser head with the thumb screw on the left, raise the laser and center it above your material. Now lower the focusing level on the right and bring the laser head down until the lever touches the panel and then secure it at the right height. This is how we focus the laser. The D1 Pro also offers an extra fine tuning step for thicker material if needed. Slide the laser to the bottom left corner of the wood Back in XCS, hit process to pull up that screen, confirm your starting point at the lower left, use the framing function, and the laser will outline the perimeter of your design, ensuring alignment and fit within the workspace. If all looks good, it's go time. Hit start, press the machine start button, and watch as the D1 Pro brings your coaster to life. And that's the simplicity of using the D1 Pro with XCS. However, I discovered XCS has its limitations, which led me to Lightburn for my gaming console project. Lightburn is a more sophisticated paid software, but Xtool hasn't left you hanging. They provide a thorough setup guidance and even a configuration file to get you started swiftly. The trade-off with Lightburn is the absence of preset material settings, which means determining the correct laser parameters can be daunting. I mean, where do you even start? Well, a quick YouTube search led me to Sam Craft's channel and his material settings tool. There are several similar tools available, even some free on the XCS catalog, but I found Sam's particularly helpful. His instructional video is top notch and I'm all for supporting fellow creators. So I purchased this tool along with a few others from his collection. The link to his site will be down below. What this tool does is help you pinpoint the optimal cutting and engraving settings for any material. Now, I don't want this video to just seem like an endless stream of praise for the X-Tool. I've generally enjoyed working with the D1 Pro, but remember, I'm a noob, my laser experience is non-existent. X-Tool generously provided the machine, granting me the freedom to express my thoughts, whether they're positive, negative, or somewhere in between. And while I haven't hit any major snags, I have bumped into a few quirks. Take the framing process, for instance. During the coaster project, you might have noticed the machine used the actual blue laser diode to trace the outline. There's also a red crosshair feature available on the D1 Pro that's constantly visible and arguably easier to align with your material, a grid, or work path. The catch? The crosshair doesn't line up precisely with the diode laser, although the software adjusts so that the traced path exactly mirrors the diode laser's route, a slight discrepancy exists where the laser head will actually travel several millimeters to the left. Usually this isn't a big deal, but if you're maxing out the workspace, that small shift could trigger the limit sensor and halt the job. I've been caught up by this a couple times and believe me, it's a headache. The workaround, just stick with the diode laser for framing like I ended up doing. Another hiccup involved the honeycomb, air assist, and the laser shroud. When cutting small holes in this acrylic panel, I found that the pieces would sometimes partially fall into the honeycomb or get blown out of alignment by the air assist, then they'd snag on the moving plastic shroud. Thankfully, my acrylic was securely taped down, but one particular stubborn piece managed to nudge the laser slightly off course. On my second attempt, I removed the shroud and that seemed to solve the problem. And then there's the issue with the cables. 
During one session, a 20 inch board overhung the honeycomb just enough for the cable to catch on it, shifting everything and botching the job. It underscored the necessity of a drag chain solution. So while there are workarounds for these issues, there are still hiccups that you'll need to keep in mind. It's also vital to understand the laser's limitations. There are materials it doesn't jive with like transparent or certain colored materials. You'll find a comprehensive list with a quick search. Then of course, there are the myriad of nuances that could swing your decision on whether the D1 Pro or any laser in its category is the right fit for you. It's marketed as a pro, yet it's still a portable desktop laser, making it ideal for small workshops, hobbyists, or businesses that don't have room for a bulky fully enclosed unit, or that require some flexibility. If you're operating outdoors or in a well-ventilated space, you might skip the enclosure. If you're focused solely on engraving, you can pass on the honeycomb panel. For those looking to expand, there are add-ons like an extension kit or gantry raising risers for bulkier objects or for the optional rotary tool attachment. As a newcomer, I appreciate the freedom to customize the machine's capabilities to suit my needs, though others might prefer an all-in-one solution. For its purposes, the D1 Pro has impressed me. It's a gateway tool with XCS providing a solid platform to propel you into the realm of laser crafted creativity. But now let's talk brass tacks. This machine isn't cheap. It's among the most premium tools in my arsenal. Of course, Xtool sent it to me, but had they not, this is the machine I would have put my money on based on my research and interactions with various other laser companies. My interest peaked when a different brand approached me for a paid promotion under the guise of an honest review, which is not how I roll. x on the other hand, set no such expectations. Our only agreement was practical usage in at least three videos. Just demonstrate and narrate its performance to you, my audience, with the mutual understanding that safety comes first and nonsense is off the table. They simply said, be honest. And that's a philosophy I can get behind, and that's why I can honestly assert that the Xtool D1 Pro is a solid piece of kit. It's earned its place in my workshop, and if you're diving into laser crafting or looking to expand your creative toolkit, it's definitely one to consider. You can check out its current pricing and any deals by clicking the link in the description below, but that's a wrap on our laser saga. If you're keen on more tech insights or DIY projects, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video, and ring the bell to stay updated on all things elevated systems. And until next time, keep creating and stay elevated.